On today's episode, I'll show you how you can make a two-color print on an A1 Mini without an AMS. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. This whole project starts out with this incredible design from status symbol on things.com. It's a 3D printable mechanical dice. You press the button and it rolls the die. I want to see if I can reproduce this and I'm going to use my A1 Mini because I think everything will fit on this bed. And sure enough, here's all the pieces laid out inside of Bamboo Studio. I selected my A1 Mini. I'm going to do a 0.16 layer height and it looks like it's going to print just fine. Everything looks good here. And it says it will take two hours and two minutes. The Mini did a great job. And the disc that has the dice on it, I tried to color it in with a colored pen. I'm going to do two color, but I'll explain that in a little bit. So to assemble it, you put the spring on to the base. And then you slide in this mechanism to push on the spring. Then there's a button to go on top of that, which snaps in place. Now you take that die disc and you got to squeeze the handle and then drop it in place. It's got a gear on the back. And now this thing will spin just like that. So we just need to put the cover on. Now there's a lip on the side of this. It's a great design. And then a groove inside the cover. These lock together. And there's also two guide pins on the back you got to line up. But this snapped together just fine. And it works perfectly right off the printer. First print. Now without the two colors, the 4 and the 5 look very similar, so I want to fix this and do a two-color print, and I'm going to do it just by swapping filaments on the A1 Mini. Now, if I want to do two-color, I can just put a pause where I want it to stop. There's two pauses at the bottom of this print. You can put it anywhere you want. You can slide down, and you right-click and select Add a Pause. And a little symbol, like an X, will show up. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just click on the X, and it's gone. So I got two pauses down here at the bottom at layer 9, and also one at layer four. So it's gonna automatically pause at those points. So here's the first one, the A1 Mini paused. So now I pull the lever to pull the filament out and then just pull it all the way out and then wrap it up onto the spool, that's the black. Now I'm gonna cut an angle on the white, slide it up the tube, pull that lever, the locking lever, make sure it's locked in, then I just hit resume. And now it starts printing white. And then it'll pause again at that level nine. I pull the lever, pull the filament out, put the new filament in, pull the lever, make sure it's locked in, and then I hit resume again. And now it's printing black again. And this is how I get my two color print. So now I'll just take the original one apart, I'll pull that disc out that I marked up, and I'll put the two color disc in place. And this is obviously so much easier to read the numbers or the dice. And now I'll put the cover on, and when I spin it, it's so much easier to read. The red on the black with the white, much better than what I had. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer or you want to print it on a high quality 3D printer, you can go to PCBWay.com, click on 3D printing, and then just upload those files that you can download from Thangs.com. And then there's a lot of selections you can make. You can even print in clear if you want. They offer that. So go through this, select what you want, and then once you hit submit, it will give you an instant quote, including shipping. It'll come right up here on the right hand side. So it's an easy way to get a print like this without buying a 3D printer. Of course, you're going to want one eventually, but don't be afraid to check out PCBWay.com for any 3D print you may need. I highly suggest you check out Status Symbol's other designs. He's incredibly clever in what he comes up with. Some of them you can only get as a member, so you could join, but others are still available for free. So I'll put a link to this in the description below. I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you so much. Also, thanks supporters and anyone using affiliate links, thank you as well. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way or a membership at thanks.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hellebuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.